Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Depending on where you are, you are welcome to this program. While you are joining, share this video, invite others to join. <coughs> if you are joining us, we are live on YouTube, we are live on Twitter, we are live on different Facebook platforms, and the handles remain at on YouTube, Judge Money Blog Africa, at on Twitter, at Judge Money C, on Facebook, a judge money blog slash TV, a judge money blog, and a judge money official, among others. So, whichever place where you are watching, share, like, and subscribe, retweet as we proceed. We are here once again this evening to continue where we've stopped we are here to continue where we have stopped and whichever way you are watching share the video invite others to join of course in today's program we are going to be navigating this poster right in front of your screen number one is this autopilot criminals who does everything to actually lie to our people, to make our people look myopic, to make our people look stupid. We are here to address it. That is the first poster you see on the top left of this poster in your screen. It is the criminals in the autopilot claiming they have United Nations ID card. On the other hand, you see the removal of railway in Biafra land. I am going to tell you about this removal of railway, which I am going to tell you what they are using those railway, where these rail lines or rail railway they are removing where it is going because we know that they have been removing railway in Niger in, in Biafra land but you don't know where they are taking these railways or rail tracks where they are taking it I am going to be telling you that and I you know the latest protest of our ESN our formidable force on the ground, they had a protest calling on Nigeria to do, you know, to obey the court order. And secondly, there is update that says that the Nigeria or the zoo government has taken, you know, have taken this um, court back to high court at Abuja and actually visited these seven count charges against our leader. We are going to actually break it down to see if what they are doing is constitutional or actually if it is contravention of the law. The same reason why the criminal appointed by Malami in the EFCC is in prison today, serving a jail time because he contravened the law and the order of court, which he was in contempt of court. The same thing that Malami is doing today. 
So we are going to talk about it. On the other hand, is Asare Dokubo. Asare Dokubo continues to actually insult, rain insult on Undibo. But the eldest people who are our representative, they cannot see it. And number two, we are going to unmask Asare Dokubo's original identity. That is what we are going to do this evening. But before we go to any of these places that we have talked about, I want us to actually pay attention because we are going to start with Nigeria court and the seven amended charges which they have brought against Mazen Namdekan over again. I want to ask this zoo government you know because it looks like what they are doing there in the zoo is actually something that is not that does not make sense how can you take okay first of all let us actually talk about court jurisdiction we're going to talk about the jurisdiction of the court and exactly what court can do and what court cannot do. Number one is that appeal court nullify the decision of high court. Why appeal court of Supreme Court can nullify every decision of every court? Because Supreme Court is the highest court in Nigeria. In some other countries, they have constitutional court, which is the highest court in their house, in their side. So it depends. Now, Mazen Namdekano was discharged and acquitted by the court of appeal, appellate court, because the the case what we are you know cannot be could not be ruled by a high court. The high court could not rule the case because there is excessive you know, interference of this executive, which made the court, high court, which is the lower court in this regard, was not able to rule the case of Mazen Namdekan. Rather, they have to send it. They have to now go to appeal court. And in the appeal court decisions, appeal court made it clear that the case had no, has no jurisdiction in Nigeria, which is exactly what every court that is competent, that knows what it does, will actually, you know, give the same verdict because the case indeed has no jurisdiction in Nigeria because you cannot try a person who is not in that country because technically it is assumed that Mazen Namdekanu is still in, in Kenya. So the jurisdiction of Mazen Namdekanu's case still remains in Kenya, if there is one. So if there is no, no jurisdiction in Kenya, if there is no case being opened against Mazen Namdekanu, case of investigation on whether he is a fugitive or not, if that such case is not in Kenya, that means Mazen Namdekanu does not have any case to answer to anybody or anywhere in the world. That is exactly what it is. And secondly, we are going to now, I want you to understand, since you have actually at least picked up what jurisdiction is, jurisdiction means that the person you are trying does not stay in the place where you are claiming he committed a crime. That is a jurisdiction. Jurisdiction is having, you no know, being territorial. If you are arrested within your community, the community have to, they have to take you to the community police station before if they are going to transfer you anywhere. That is something of jurisdiction. You cannot arrest somebody anywhere in a community and straight taking them to Abuja. No, you must contact that jurisdictional police station or that community police before you will be able to take that person. The reason being that so that it will not be you know, be as if that somebody has been kidnapped. That is the reason why you must, you must 
report it. So in this regard, Mazen Namdekano was taken from Kenya. He was not, they did not report to the Kenyan authorities that they are taking Mazen Namdekano, which is violation of international law and treaty that governs extradition process. Mazen Namdekano was tortured in Kenya by unknown government agent in an unknown in an unknown place that means <clears throat> nigeria government kidnapped mazen namdekan and took him to nigeria after torturing him so since his case he is still <coughs> excuse me since he is still technically in kenya he has no case to answer in Nigeria. Now, I want you to now begin to ask Nigeria government, <clears throat> what is the job of appellate court? What is the job of appellate court? And can high court actually, you know, counter a decision of appellate court? Let us find out. <coughs> Let us find out. Let me bring it to you this so that we will find out if Nigeria is indeed a country or banana republic. There is something I want us to read right now. How court is and how court is being run. That is exactly what I want to show you. Now, in this post that is right in front of you, I might not be able to shout because I am having some cough. Now, I want you to, to read with me, can a lower court challenge the order of appellate court in Nigeria? Now, let us read. A decision of a higher court is binding on lower courts and decisions of the Supreme Court, the final court of appeal, are binding on all other courts. Now, I hope you are getting the point. The decisions of appeal court <coughs> disqualify or nullify the decisions of a lower court, which is the high court of Bintanyako which is nigeria took the case of mazen namdekano to the high court and the high court gave a decision that is not suiting to the you know a legal team to the legal team of ipob and ipob in general we now charge the case to the appellate court as even the higher court actually advised because they will advise you if you do not like the decision of the lower court you can get you know extend the case to the appellate court which can nullify the decision of a lower court now mazen namdekan could not you know he, the decision were not able to be made in the lower in the lower court which is court of bintanyaku high court of abuja even though the branches of this lower court high court of Omaha, discharged and acquitted mazen namdekan of every crime leveled against him <coughs> including the jumping of bail the claim so now in the higher court in the which is appellate court it discharged and acquitted Mazen Namdekan of every crime or charges leveled against him. Now, to your greatest surprise, Nigeria government, instead of them accepting defeat, they have to now throw a big slap on their judiciary. Do you know why I say they have thrown a big slap on their judiciary? 
there is something. Remember what I just showed you here. Cases that are legally similar <clears throat> will generally be decided in the same way. Confirming with the decision of a higher court, this is called the rule of president, the rule of precedent. <coughs> that is it. Now, let me show you what Nigeria or the Zoom government did recently. Let us go to what the post made by, you know, our Lego team. Now let us read. Dispelling the fears on the reported new seven count amended charges filed against our indefatigable, indefatigable fatigable leader, <clears throat> Onyenduma Zinamdekanu, before Justice Bin Tanyaku of Federal High Court Abuja. It is also worthy to note that this judgment of the Court of Appeal still stand till date, as same has been set aside by the Supreme Court, it is imperative to state, therefore, that on the strength on the strength of this judgment, no charges, no charge of whatever nature, and under any guise, can ever be presented or stand against Onion Nam the Khan before any court of law in Nigeria. Okay. So, the, you know, this is actually talking about that there is no court in Nigeria which can actually entertain the case of Mazen Namdekano. There is no court in Nigeria that is supposed to entertain the case that the Nigeria government is labeling <clears throat> on Mazen Namdekano. So there is something I also want to bring to your table. Now, just one moment. Okay. There is some update I am seeing here, which I am trying to read. Let me actually see, <clears throat> read that update. That's why I am actually being interrupted. <clears throat> Let me read that update. Let me read it about what Malami has to say. <clears throat> Appeal court ruling Abuba Kamalami and Nigeria government and Nigeria government suppressing the, the, the judicial. Okay. Okay, there is an article written to Attorney General Malami of Federation. I want to read it. I want to read this article because I think it concerns a bit what <clears throat> I am doing here. <clears throat> Let me read it before <clears throat> we will move to something else. Let me bring it so that we read it before we move to something else. Now, this is it.
Let me read. A good definition of a quack lawyer is an attorney general of the federation who has filed to, who has failed to know to acknowledge that when death want to kill a dog, it prevents it from perceiving the smell of feces. The Attorney General and Minister of Justice Abu Bakamala Mi and Nigeria government are the only people in the world who goes to a, law, a lower court with a case already decided by a higher court. Yes. This is exactly what I am talking about. This is exactly what I am talking about. I showed you the structures of court, how court is. How court is. A decision of a higher court is binding on lower court. And the decisions of the Supreme Court, the final court of appeal, are binding on all other courts. Nigeria government, <coughs> they left what they're supposed to do. Instead of taking a decision, you know, instead of actually acknowledging the order of court, which is the court of appeal, that is superior to high court of Bintanyako, instead of them acknowledging it, or if they do not want to acknowledge it, they will <coughs> actually obey the rule of that court, then go to the Supreme Court of Appeal which is the highest court, you cannot, there is no way you will actually take a case to appeal court and the case got, got a, received a hearing and a verdict, you now say no, you don't accept the verdict of that case, you now return that case back to lower court. You return that case back to lower court. Does it make sense? That means it is a big slap on the face <coughs> of, of your judiciary. That is a serious slap to the face of your judiciary. So, what you see going on in Nigeria is indeed as a result of lawless country. A country that does not know its left from its right. That is exactly what you see going on in Nigeria. Just one moment. You cannot overrule the decisions of a higher court to using a lower court. For the sake of knowing that court, high court of Abuja cannot rule the case that is already ruled by appellate court. Let me give you an example. It is like uh, Nigeria, what, how would I call it? Okay, in your state, <coughs> I'm trying to give you an example. In your state, 
If you are from Enugu State, like if you are from Enugu State, there is a local government chairman, right? There are there is a councillor. There is local government chairman. There is a governor. And now a councillor was presented, a case was presented to a councillor, which is community. Councillor could not handle it. Councillor now referred it to chairman. Now the chairman said that they rule over the case. Now the people who brought it to the councillor now went back and said they don't agree on the ruling of the higher person, which is the chairman. Now, they now take the case back to councillor. You know that instead of taking the case to the governor, taking the case to the governor might be is something that might be proper thing to do. The governor is can make a decision that overrules the chairman's decision. The chairman can make a decision that overrules the councillor's decision. Instead of taking the case to the governor, a slap on the face of this person, they take the case back to the councillor. For the councillor to override the, you know, the decisions of the chairman. It, what does that mean? That means that Nigeria is giving power to lower court to actually rule over a case that has been ruled by higher court. They're undermining the higher court, which is appellate court. Nigeria is undermining it. And Nigeria is now using the power that belongs to appeal court and granting it to the high court. <coughs> because Nigeria has no shame. They don't have a choice. They can do anything and everything to make sure that they win. But why do we need? They are not seeing how shameful it is. They are, they are not seeing exactly what is going on. <clears throat> is there any call, any country in this world have you ever heard anything as such that a high court make a decision, um, appellate court make a decision that government now take back the case to the lower court because they don't want the decision. The decision of a higher court is not in favor of their, of their, you know, or, or it is not in their favor. You know, it is an evidence to show that what you are, where you are calling a country in Nigeria is for real a zoo. It is not a country. It is for real a zoo. What you are calling country is a zoo. Where lower court decision matters more than the higher court. Don't forget, the United Nations gave Nigeria six months to release Mazen Namdekan. And I believe that six months is clocking to an end. It's almost clocking to an end. And they are beating around the bush. <clears throat> I am also happy <coughs> that the order of United Nations is flouted so that they will understand that Nigeria does not regard anybody or anything. So that when we begin to actually expose their activities, the whole world will know. Nigeria undermine everybody, every institution, every truth. Nigeria does not understand what leadership is. <clears throat> that is the reason why anybody you place in the leadership of Nigeria will fail. Because they don't know the meaning of leadership. They don't know the meaning of superiority. They believe that once they become a leader, they are the God. They are not aware that 
they will forget that it is people who place them there. <clears throat> people who are uninformed, being your attorney general, being your um, president, that attorney general will take a case that is already ruled by high court, higher court to a lower court. Is that not an irony? What does that entail? It entails that Nigeria is a banana republic and the rule of law does not have any binding force in Nigeria because the executive do as they wish. Now, for you to understand that every decision make <clears throat> or made by Attorney General Malami to you, Nigerians, it is actually a very, very wrong decision. Every decision that is made by that guy, it is a very wrong decision. It is this same guy who gave you, it is this same guy who gave you um, your chairman of EFCC, the one that is flouting the court order. It was Attorney General Malami who appointed this guy. It was Attorney General Malami who appointed this guy. And the guy now is in contempt of court, a criminal who arrests and sees people's cars every day. That is him. He take other people's car, ordinary people, he take and he confiscate their car, arrest them for no reason. If you see a young person driving, you take their car, you tell them that they are criminal. Today, where is he today? He is a criminal in the criminal dungeon. That is the decision of Attorney General Malami. He forced that guy into your throat. Same way he forces, he is forcing, you know, <clears throat> you know, he is forcing court, high court into your, to your throat. He is forcing high court down to your throat. A case that is already finished because they know that they can control and manipulate Bintanyaku. And now what they are doing is because they have a leverage on Bintanyaku. Because if you ask yourself, why is it that Supreme Court, where they wanted to take the case, actually turned them down? Supreme Court turned Nigeria down because they want to take the case there. They want to see if they can manipulate the Supreme Court of Nigeria. It turned them down. That is the reason why they have gone back to the High Court. And I want you to make inquiries on this thing that I'm telling you. The Supreme Court of Nigeria turned the case down. Now, Nigeria does not know any other thing to do but to take back the case. That is a delay strategy. To take back the case to a lower court of justice, Bintanyako. So we are now actually wondering, I am wondering if Justice Bintanyako have any shame. She's not supposed to entertain this thing because it is a slap on the face of the judiciary which she is a member of it. If you are actually happy when decisions of the court is undermined and you are still entertaining it in, and you are a member of the judiciary, that means that one day it will come to you because you will give a verdict. It will be undermined by ordinary police. Ordinary police will undermine your verdict. Because that is exactly what is going on here. So I am calling on Nigeria, United Nations, and I am calling on every institution that matters. <clears throat> to actually come and actually observe what is going on in Nigeria. 
It is a very, very shameful thing. It is a very, very shameful thing. I don't know if there are intelligent people in Nigeria, if there are still intelligent people in Nigeria, or is it just morons that are there watching this government do as they please? It does not make sense. Because what I am seeing right now is this something that are actually that is actually it's, it's not good to hear you know to allow other ears to hear such thing that the you know higher court made a decision you are using the decision of a lower court you want to go to lower court to actually you know counter that decision of a higher court is that not stupidity So, the most important thing that we need to know is that Nigeria is a zoo and we must move away from the zoo because that zoo cannot ever, it will never work in favor of anybody. It, may nev it will never ever work in the favor of anybody. And in everything you are doing, you are scouting for one Nigeria. I want you to know that there is something wrong with you. That you, you, there is something wrong with you. Because one day your case will go to the court and uh, they will give a verdict on your case. Ordinary police will still intimidate you and take back that case to court, to a lower court. So, because, you know, I don't know what is happening in Nigeria as we speak. It's an evidence that you are losing it. Chinese have completed their police station in Enugu State, right? <coughs> Chinese, they have completed their uh, Enugu State police station. Why is Chinese building police stations across Nigeria? Because of the Chinese loan. Chinese is going to be taking over the country gradually. And we have called on China. Biafra land is not the ones who took loan from you. It is the zoo. And therefore you guys cannot occupy our land. It is not possible. You cannot occupy our land and we are going to chase you. If you come to occupy our land, because even if you are not aware of anything, you should be aware that you've been exploiting Biafra land. But even we don't know by your illegal minings and bunker. We know every Chinese activities it is the same, the same activity of removal, removal of railway. Those railway pipes, those railway, you know, tracks you saw that is being removed. <clears throat> you know where it is going. It is going to the Chinese. Those railway tracks, it is going to the Chinese. Because these people, they are looking for such things to make use of it. Because if you believe these guys, what they are doing, vandalizing our infrastructure to make sure that we do not have anything anywhere because they are trying and they are planning to overwhelm you. They don't want you to have any possible route of escape other than by road, which they are going to actually cover the road. 
with their terrorist killers. They know that railway, you know, is a bit safer for you to travel on. That is the reason why they are trying to destroy every railway, selling the rail tracks to China, because Chinese, they know the value of it. But we are also, we are still saying what we are saying. Chinese building police station in Biafra land. Biafra land is not part of those who would ask you, I will borrow the money from you. It is Nigeria who borrowed the money from you. So you need to actually know who is your debtor. That is exactly my message to Nigeria this evening. We are not part of your Chinese loan. We can never be part of your Chinese loan. We are not going to be part of uh, your Chinese colonialism, which is upcoming. And we can never allow China or any other countries in the world to actually try to colonize us for the second time. And I can assure you that what they are planning to do, they have done everything in this Western world. Their plan is to see if they can defeat, defeat Russia, defeat China, and do a global colonization. That is exactly the plans why china is actually trying to see if they can defeat the west and do a global colonization that is what the two big worlds are actually fighting for who is going to colonize the global, you know the world who is going to control the world that is what the fight is all about in case if you believe that this fight is coming is a fight that does not have any base they are fighting on who is going to colonize who. Global colonization. Global colonization, that is exactly what the world is fighting for right now. So your decision today matters whether you are going to be part of those that will be colonized and you are, you know, if you are intelligent enough you will understand what i am talking about it is going to be you remember this is a systematic way of colonization now we are that is exactly where we are so that is exactly where we are the global colonization <clears throat> that is the reason why china started coming to africa giving them loan building police station all over the place. Especially if there is, if they go to a country that have what they are actually require. And they have come to Nigeria. Now, those who have ears, hear it. Those of you who claim OB, OB is your problem solved. Don't forget, even if by fluke, by mistake, <clears throat> they give Obi the power as their agent. I want you to know, no matter what Obi does, for eight years, Obi goes back to an ordinary person. The power go back to where he come from, the fallen is. And then what? You start afresh. That is the reason why the blood of our people that died in the hands of these politicians, including in the hands of P2B, they did not die for us, for Igbo presidency. They did not die for, you know, one Nigeria. They died for Biafra. Therefore, you that is shouting Obi, 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 Obi is not our prayer. Obi is not what we are fighting for. What we are fighting for is total liberation, emancipation, free, you know, from colonial enclave. That is exactly what we are fighting for. So anybody who is going to tell you different from that, they should understand that we know what we are up for. 
and we are going to achieve that. And I am going to leave this part here. In this poster, we are going to go to this ID card or poster, whatever that is there. I want to show you something. The activities of these infiltrators. They are doing everything in their heart, you know, in their power to try to destroy what we are doing by making it like a joke, by making it like a fraudulent thing. That is the reason why <coughs> in a several occasion we have actually called and reminded the world that this criminal syndicate in the autopilot, they are not part of us. Because if you look at their activities recently, we are one of them, the criminals, who was advised by Berimai in Finland, who, who was, you know, all these things you see them doing, that, those are the plans of Simon Eber. They are doing all these things to make sure that they deceive you, they manipulate you, they extort money from you to make the world think that we are fraudulent in what we are doing. So now I want you to pay attention to this video. The criminal who is claiming they have United Nations ID card, little did he know that the person he is speaking to is as intelligent as his criminality. That is the reason why you will abstain from autopilots, criminal syndicate. They are all criminals. They do not mean well for anybody. I want you to listen to the conversation of these two people. When Autopilot brought out an ID card claiming that he is a member of United Nations, he has their, he have, you know, he has their ID card. Why are they doing all that? But let us listen to the video and we will judge. As if you call a spade a spade, then the spade becomes a spade. Because I give me a image in your Because the money you here, one the man and the man why you the man they lose all their lives in these things. I want to know my right brand that Joey are over. Come here, I can only win us. And money for you. Yeah, when you're my yard, you will give them guys in your game. You don't need to get down where we more angry on the side of the mouth, Mia Washia. It's a terrible mm -hmm. thing. Now, let me, I'm looking at what you are showing us here. I just, I just stumbled on your program. I do watch your program sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do watch everybody's program sometimes. Okay. But you him now when I run my phone, you win a whim, he's on a phone before I forgot more than more. Because, okay. Yeah. Seriously speaking. Go on. Okay, if you just keep to your points. Mm -hmm. My point, have, in my point, okay. here, yeah. yeah. Among other things, here I negotiate and then with the United Nations and all that. No, I even here I have a card and I have a and I have a card and ID card. Now I want you to know the man that is actually trying to, you know, guide the criminal in autopilot. Number one, remember that Simon Eber is a fool, a foolish criminal. That is the reason why they are not realizing that the idiot they are using him to do fake United Nations ID card is wearing a cap. And that is for real. You cannot wear a cap to take any photo ID. Any form of photo ID, you cannot wear a cap. And I know that the man does not want to actually lambast him or call him a criminal, but he told him 
constructively the same thing you don't wear a cap to take a, any photo id and that is exactly what this autopilot the mistake they made in their fake identity you know they want to use to manipulate somebody what does this entail that everything and every activities of the autopilot is criminal they don't know what to do they don't know what they are doing all they do is criminal activities that's all criminality is their slogan lie deceit is their slogan now let us continue because whenever you engage them in their criminality they will start actually acting and threatening you without even knowing where your information is emanating or whom you are that is exactly their ignorance let's continue Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. look at me you got here cup and id card or passport or anything i know he the this beard and all that you got here you dsf some maybe some sometimes allowed because it's identify you what it will be now you will go to another money was so yeah i'm ready to negotiate anyone now people are watching and when they do one of them about uh protocols government read uh, exactly if you wear a cap covering your forehead, your forehead is your identification. So how can you wear a cap to take a photo ID? You know, this man is trying to tell him what he knows. What he did there is to start telling the man, <clears throat> can I invite you to Germany? The same thing Simon Eber will do. Remember the day Simon Eba and one lady who called in asking him about Avid and Aved. Simon Eba was trying to use a delay strategies to make the same woman forget what she wanted to ask. Trying to immediate the woman, trying to do everything in his you know capacity as the anchor of a program to actually intimidate the same woman. That is exactly what you are seeing here playing out. But little did the young man know that the person he is actually trying to lie or manipulate or intimidate knows better than him. Now he is claiming can i invite you to germany come to germany how can he come to germany to come and identify your stupid id you claim it is for united nations when he already told you that you cannot wear a cap to take any photo id let's go to red tape because um, they believe you later on i find out now you have bro authority to persuade them you will wear her. How kick you against this struggle? Mm -hmm. So okay. I'm just appealing to you. If they find out, they will get angry. They will start kicking against the struggle. This is the same thing autopilot is working for, for our people to start kicking against this struggle. That is the reason why they are killing our people on the ground. That is the reason why they are doing anything, everything they are doing. To see our people despising this struggle. <clears throat> to see our people say, if it is the same, the way Biafra will be, I rather quit. To make our people to stop trusting the leadership and this movement for their total liberation and emancipation. That is the plan and the agenda of autopilot. You have no idea. Double agent. They want you to give up the struggle. And that is exactly what this man is telling this criminal. All these people are supposed to go to jail. This ID he is holding in his hands <clears throat> supposed to take this guy to jail because they come to if United Nations cannot take part in this, 
But those living in Germany will not report this to United Nations because this criminal need to go to jail by using <coughs> the name of IPOB and tangling it with a fraudulent ID claiming it is a United Nations ID card. And that is what Simon Eber has been doing. Continue to manipulate you, continue to lie to you, telling you that he is a lawyer, he is this, he is that, because anyone can claim anything in the social media without any proof. But this one has a proof, which is the proof that you are using, you are going to use to nail him, because that is a fake ID of United Nations. He is using the name of United Nations to actually steal from people. And the case will be a case, you know, fraudulent. It's a case of fraud or theft under false pretense. That is the kind of case this, this boy or this guy is going to be answered. Under false pretense. Because he claiming he is claiming what he is not. Now let's continue to listen, my brother. All right, let me so understand. No, just <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm glad this name in I watch my program. Yeah, yeah, I do. For a very long time. Mm -hmm. And like I said, and I may preach even that I know, and the name in Nego Sigu proof. Name, negotiable proof. Matter of fact, go on different way. Get a brief again. Make a oblation. Can people have interest? You make you see me. Action K B J M. I'm going to show one day. I'm on state, you know. Now, can now one, let me tell you. Something. Don't, okay. Don't. Don't. But I have been, this is not a debate. No, but a debate. I'm going to answer you again. Don't. You can't even know because you can go and keg it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I'll put it in a debate. I'll put it in a debate. Okay. You can go and keg it. You can't even know. 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 <coughs> then imagine mona gafu e wup tamia e jiluko onu gawa wae waka bia france that ni fif ni ezo fukop so ao jun choka njua ganki wae sam ki du mbose ki du mount a gabia. Is that a <coughs> is this a question? This thing he is asking, does it make sense? The man told you that you are defrauding people with your fake ID. You are now asking him to come to Germany. Are you calling him to come to Germany for you to poison him? Are you calling him to come to Germany for you to do what? At least <coughs> you want to prove him. You can only prove him because you want him to come to Germany. But there are, you know, basic requirements in obtaining any ID card, any identity card in, in any part of the world. And that is also no wearing of face cap or any type of hat on your head. You cannot cover your forehead because the photo ID is concentrating on here. Photo ID, that is identification of you from here to your forehead. That is your identification. If this is not showing, there is no identity there. So it is very important. The man told you, you cannot wear a cap. Yet you are asking him to come to Germany. Do you know the reason why I am actually talking on these things? You know, it is for you to actually know the activities of autopilot. 
like I've said to you before, most of them are, support, are supporting P2B. Most of them, they are supporting P2B in secret. They have different uh, Facebook pages where they are promoting the activities of P2B. And when they come to the like this to the media where they claim they are promoting Biafra, they will act as if they are not promoting P2B. And some of them are even promoting Tinubu with their fake account. Some of them are promoting Tinubu with their fake account. And yet they, they are acting as if they are for Biafra. This is as a result of that, they have to do everything or anything to actually captivate your mind to, you know, to prove something to you. That is one of them here, including bringing United Nations ID card to make you believe that these people, they follow, they know what they are doing. But little did he, did he know that intelligent people who knows are watching. You know, most of the time when I am doing a program, I say I know that there are intelligent people here who are watching. They will always sit back, sit down, relax, and continue to watch to see the outcome of, uh, you know, all this shenanigans. That is exactly what you see playing out. These autopilots, they mean no well to anybody. And you shouldn't forget that the only what they are, the only thing they are fighting to achieve is to make you give up on the quest for freedom. Is to make you give up on this quest of Biafra restoration. So you should not get carried away by their and you know endeavor to make sure that biafra struggle is rejected because that is their plan primary key they want biafra struggle to be rejected okay um before my work month and date and all that mba 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 can i talk allow me to one month and date, then you can we can talk about other things. Now, for me to come there, I used to live in Germany. I used to live in Germany. I was on a mission in Germany. I don't know why I do any I'm not ordinary. I used to live in okay. Wiesbaden, Wiesbaden, my Army brother. Bay. Yeah, my brother, uh -huh. my brother, Chelo, Tell him you don't need to introduce yourself. Like you watch my program, I can them and introduce themselves. <laughs> because I'll tell you the truth. Hey. Aside from that one, I don't need your introduction. But I tell him, okay, where be our friends? I have no business coming to Germany, sir. He make a program. Do I have to no. come to Germany to watch your program? No, listen. Can we give you email? Okay. Hmm? Yeah. If you may leave a number, okay, cast gate, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you. In what I do, tell you. I'm not castigating you. I'm giving you a point of direction. Nothing else. I, I pleaded with you. Okay. So that I, 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 don't misunderstand me. Okay, chill. I'm going anyway. I take my word back. You're not castigating me. My name is Bialka. Maybe I'm going to be a little bit here. More Bob gonna say go sure on a power go a jelly wound the mud over you. That's what I'm telling you. And I hate you when I first cap. Exactly. That's what he's telling yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, alter your appearance. Oh, the yeah, same way. Okay. Now, um, something like this identity card or passport. Not pick Good. that one. Gezemont. Gezemont. I chose them, Keta. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because this is a big Due to my pro, him, I'm just 
ni me ku cha ni ta nu ase alesin ni ma bi ta mi ni mo ni ni be ga ja le he be ga ja me le bi me ni pe kwa bi afra ni ga tumo e ga ni ga me e ga cho to mi na ge experiment ta no e wata mo wa wata ga so that mo na gana work together that's how to only thing is connect to with me not coming to you just all of a sudden yeah, from nowhere come to germany and prove that he made right i don't see i saw me in a matter wrong i don't right sorry but if you are in with hendrick here if you want to do it do it right that's all my I brother say. yeah my brother yes. my brother isn't come all go private connect with me or give me in a mark on it with you yeah, mm -hmm. okay it all on private we're going to move on. No. Only mm. with the last level more, it was a private. And when the mayor contact, the only way you make the people invite. No, you can't do it. It hit a good point again. And I told him to go to Germany. No, no, no. I will not come to Germany at this time. And we're on program coming uh, to Germany. I'll go no next year. You don't be good. This is next year. I'm going to go to Germany. So I'm going to go to Germany. I'm going to go to Germany. I'm going to go to Germany. My brother, you don't need to be afraid of me. Uh, afraid? Me? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I will never be afraid of you or anybody. No. Yeah. No. 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 It that level. What you uh, cannot be more catholic uh, than the pope you can you yeah my brother i'm not because you yeah, know because yeah, yeah. he has a big problem ah and he will be problem in the future when biafra comes he has a big problem present to biafra no, he may get it, he may get it, he may get it, he may get it. If you want to do it, do it right. Catch that word. Chelo. I say that I know I'm going to come out of the globe. I guess we recognize him. Automatically, even the member no one, get out of one. But it's fake. No, 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 no. If you want to do it, do it right. I didn't, I didn't use the word fake. Uh -uh. Hmm. They have busted the idiot, the criminal. He busted the criminal. You look at it. Do it right. I know the young, you know the young man who is actually telling him does not want to actually expose the idiot fully. That is the reason why he is telling him do it right. But I can assure you. The criminal, it is their activities. I am a lawyer, I am a military. This is under false pretense. They are all criminal. <clears throat> criminal looking for your money, vultures looking for where they did not sow to eat. That is the vulture. You don't invite vulture where something is being killed. They actually trace their way to death. So this criminal think he is doing the program that it is only morons and the gullibles which they take you, Biafrans, some of you that are following the activities of autopilot and you know supporting them. They believe that you guys are so morons, you know, that you cannot actually understand. You know, they don't know that people who those are watching. The face cap, inviting the person to come to Germany. You know, for your information, the person that is talking to him is actually 
I think he is working for the United States military or United Nations military. That is exactly the person he is talking about. And the young man, the man is telling him that if you want to do this, do it correctly because it is going to discourage our people. <coughs> now, without him knowing that, that their plan and their quest is to discourage people. But that is, by the way, that is a very important something that you need to know about this criminal autopilot. Because he later even threatened the man and said that when Biafra come, <coughs> that he will raise this case against him. He went ahead and threatened the man that the man even told him where he come from, that he is not scared of him. You know, this is exactly the morons that autopilots are working with. You know, thanks to some such morons like this, that Simon Epa, just like Nell, how we were able to find out their activities from the beginning. Because they work with morons who cannot reason, who reason from their enemies. That is exactly, but the man, I also blame this man who came to this guy's problem. Because this man, Mr. Ignatius, his name is Mr. Ignatius uh, Solomado. I blame you also, you didn't do a great job there. You know, but you tried. Because you, I know you, <coughs> You are in support of this movement, you know, but you're supposed to actually open your words, make your words open. But I know maybe you couldn't make it open because you know they will block you off their account. Now I remember. Because what I expected is that you tell people that that is fake because so many of our people, they don't understand constructive argument. So many of our people, like so, those morons that are following them, anything you say constructively, they do not understand it or they don't pay attention to it. That is the reason why you telling him that you don't wear face cap. People might not understand that you are saying that the ID is a fake. They will think that you are, it is your, it is your mistake, not United Nations. They will think it is a mistake somewhere. They don't know you are saying that the ID is fake. That is our people for you. You need to understand how to deal with our people. Our people now talk about look for for Our people more for for two They will not understand it because so many of them they are actually very very low in thinking. Very, very low in thinking that if you do not mention that thing that they want to hear raw, that they can never comprehend it. That is the reason why I am saying uh, you didn't do a perfect job there. You did a great job, but you did not do a perfect job there. Because our people can still be fooled. Even those who are watching you the, the same way, you know, you are doing it. They can still be fooled by the same thing. Look at this. This is exactly what Simon did a while ago. I'm on the line. This is, I'm, I'm on the line. Yes, I learned you've been calling me. To come and ask you some questions. Are you the one? Are you the one? I just yes. played your voice now. Yes, I'm the one. All right, go ahead. Yeah, so, please. so now I have questions. just. I want to ask you. Please, okay, have you, first of all, that, please, 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 I know you are going to talk. First of all, have all you been right. watching the program? Remember the, what he said, he is ready to take any question from this lady. Now he will start, have you been watching the program? Does he need to, what concern watching the program and the calling in of the woman? Because you said the woman should call in. Does she need to watch your program? All he, she knew is that you've been actually, you know, saying that she's a liar. Now she came to ask you a question. You're asking her, have you been watching, watching the program? Is it what your juju man 
told you to always ask those who come to challenge you because this is the same thing you were asking um those autopilot who left you few months ago every time they come to ask you a critical question you will ask them have you been watching the program have you been, what has watching the program to do with the question they are they are here to ask you but you claim that they should come in and ask you any question that you need any critical question that they even should only said to be on the side telling them what to ask also that you are ready to answer them like now let us see how this man always tell you what does not exist listen right I, uh, somebody, if he sent for me and then I wasn't watching this program because I was in another program. So where, where so, did you, where did you join? So that I uh, will know, so that I uh, will know how to, uh, I did, the same strategy. Does it matter? Strategy. Does it matter where she joined the program? Hey, <laughs> to kill time for her to forget what she want to ask. This guy has been manipulating you guys, man. Damn it. Uh, you know, is it people watching or zombies? exactly this is unbelievable for her to forget the crazy now this brings us to what well, the reason why i said it man did not do a perfect job because you're supposed to know better that our people are very very weak in thinking that is exactly what i mean because you might be seeing them acting like human being but you don't know that they are zombies this is the same strategy they have one modus operandi how to get away with criminality how to confuse their narratives that is what they do all the time listen that is exactly what they do all the time so our people should actually wake up from their slumber because these criminals you see today they're doing everything they can to see if they will make you their puppet. Now, of course, you see where our gallant men on the ground, where they are doing a protest, are calling on Buhari to obey court order. They call on Buhari to obey court order. Now you will be wondering why is Buhari not obeying court order? Because Buhari is so scared that IPOB will have won him in court, in his court, just like Mazen Namdekanu told him in 2015, <laughs> that you cannot jail me. So they are jailing him of the book because they believe they can. Now let's touch on this. I want you to understand this is the same PSN. I know when you talk about the autopilot today, when you ask them which ESN is this, they will tell you it is autopilot ESN. They have tried everything to make you believe they are in charge of ESN, raising funds every day in the name of supporting ESN, stealing your money from you. Now I want you to look at this. Look at this. This is ESN. This is ESN. Now, this is their latest protest. Listen. They are calling on Buhari to obey court order. Obey court order. Now, tomorrow, if your criminal agent Simon Eba come online, he will tell you he is the one who guided them to protest. He will tell you that you are raising funds for ESN without telling you who are the real ESN. 
You don't know that the real ESN is his pocket and Azoka. That is the ESN you are donating money for because his name is ESN according to his latest name. You are donating money to ESN, Simon Eba, and Azoka. <clears throat> and you will continue to donate money for those two criminals because you cannot actually, you don't know, you cannot read in between the lines. These are our gallant men protesting, calling on the federal government to obey the order of court. You know, it is very, very significant. For those of you who will believe that autopilot is indeed in charge of ESN, we have told you in several occasions that autopilot does not know anything about our ESN and I have challenge them to actually take a video of their ESN and actually send it to you. And in, time, in that regard, it must be the such video where they will be singing for you not to be given, you know, photoshopped video or edited video. Because they are too, you know, they are very, very good with adulteration of things, originals. So, this is another evidence and another slap on the faces of the auto criminals who claims to be what they are not. That is as a result of it, you get this. Now, coming to the story of Asare Dokubo, I want you to know that Asare Dokubo has been insulting Ndibo. He has been insulting Ndibo and he does that even when he is insulting anybody in Ibo land, he is insulting Ndibo. And I like this, what somebody said, that Simon is raising fund for Ibo Bago because he is not raising fund for ESN. He is raising fund for Ibu Bago. And uh, the earlier you know it, the better for you. Ever since the money is no longer coming, did you hear anything about Ibu Bago anymore? Even the Vumahi is giving up on Ibu Bago. They want to create a new one. Now, we go straight to Asare Dokubo. Asare Dokubo said that he is Ibo, he has Ibo blood flowing in his vein. <coughs> but Asare Dokubo <coughs> is a Muslim. Asare Dokubo claimed his father is a Diabale and Uzo Demma. Is there anybody in Ibo land, how many people from Ibo land are Muslim? How many people in Ibo land are caliphates? Because he is always claiming that he is Igbo person in order to stand upon that to actually insult and undermine the Igbo people and the Igbo nation at large. And the reason why the pig in the creek continue to do what he is doing it is because you politicians who claim you are represented, you are a presenter of our people, you have sold out from A to Z. None of you is actually even to OB. All of them, they have sold out. That is the reason why that pig in a creek or toad will come out and be bamboozing Igbo people with all sort of abuse, abusive words, without any fear. They, you know, they, they, they tell any time that these people realize that Nigeria is not for them and that they cannot actually continue to be in that contraption called Nigeria. 
because that is when they will start regaining their respect. If Asarid or Kubo could open his mouth, insult Igbo people anyhow he wants, because he has lost from pipeline guard contract, he has to take money from Jagaban, Tinubu, World Bank, the drug dealer, according to the report, to actually campaign for him. In the process of campaigning for Tinubu, this is the same criminal who claimed he is fighting for Biafra. The same way he claimed he is fighting for Biafra, tomorrow he is campaigning for Tinubu APC. <clears throat> is there anything different between this Asari Dokubo and what Femi Fanekayode did last year by joining APC? These are people who claim they are fighting for freedom, that they are revolutionary, only because they are doing it for the people on top to recognize them and give them contract. That is exactly the reason why so many people will come and use our struggle. They use our struggle as their stepping ladder or stepping stone for them to obtain some benefit from Nigeria. Because if you want to make Nigeria pay attention to you, start supporting IPOB. Once you start supporting IPOB, Nigeria will start paying attention to you. And that is exactly the what, what the reason why these people are taking advantage of that. Taking advantage of IPOB struggle. Just like the Igbo people taking advantage of it to call for Igbo presidents. Believing that it is what people died for. If you want to make Nigeria pay attention to you. Come out publicly and support Mazen Namzekano. Nigeria will pay attention to you this evening. That becomes your protest. That is the reason why you are seeing exactly what you are seeing today. Asared Okubo telling you he is a Biafran. He is this, he is that. Only the reason why he is saying it for them to, for him to be recognized once more. But it partially failed him this time because after deceiving people that is working for Biafra, of course, the, the contract to go to Tompolo. That's why he got mad. So for those of you who are using IPOBs and names and the Biafra struggle to get attention from Nigeria, you should know the time of it is coming to an end because we are not going to give attention to idiots, criminals. All the time you people want to become, you know, a ripper of where you did not sow. We are formidable. We are freedom fighting movement. We are not here to give our college to any evil politicians because it is a due to politics you guys are playing in Nigeria. As a result, is what we are suffering today. And we cannot condone it anymore. We cannot condone Chinese building their police stations in our land because that is not our agreement with any Chinese. We don't know agreement made or signed by Nigeria by you know with Chinese government we do not need Chinese let it be a, be only the real way that they are taking out and selling to Chinese enough of that intimidation enough of that upcoming neo colonialism from China <laughs> so this is something that all of us need to you know, add our voice. We don't want Chinese police station in our in our homes. Now, it is true that we have achieved, you know, something because I could not actually speak loud.
or bring momentum to this program because I don't feel good. And uh, I know that, you know, it is time I don't miss my Sunday program. That is actually the reason why I did it earlier. I know my Sunday program, I normally start at seven o'clock Biafra time, but I learned that, you know, our mem our DOS is coming online this evening, which is Mazi China Samoru. So that's why I actually have to do it earlier. So those of you who are not watching now, I know they watch later. So however it is, we have achieved something and we will continue to remain formidable. We are not backing down, regardless of the antics the enemy bring against us or upon us. We are not backing down. We are IPOB, a formidable force. And we know what we are fighting. We know what we are up against. And that is total liberation and emancipation of Umuchuku and the Bintanyaku. I don't know why he, she continues to entertain the stupidity of Buhari's led you know, the imposter-led government or the stupidity of the Attorney General Malami. I don't know why she entertains it. Maybe she is entertaining it because they have made her a permanent agent. Maybe she is entertaining it because of the leverage they have on her. But it is very, very important she does not entertain that because it brings questions to his to her competency of being a judge of a lower court. If she actually agree with federal government who does not know any law, as she is the one who make the rule of law to uphold, she's supposed to know better that she cannot challenge the order of a higher court. But we are watching to see what her response will be because the zoo government is indeed uneducated people, uninformed people, very, very ignorant people, that they will continue to do the things that does not make sense, even in the eyes of the world. I want you to know that the, the verdict issued by appellate court to Mazen Namzekano and the flouting of it and the being in contempt of it is indeed going to you know make Nigeria not have some investors coming into Nigeria because they know they are not you know protected by the justice system because investors they look at all these things. How is their judiciary? How is security? How, you know, they look at all these things before they engage. So Nigeria is impoverishing you people there. Wanzane law causing on Aramano. That is exactly what is happening. And I want you to know that there is nothing you will do to fix Nigeria. Nobody will fix Nigeria calling on particular person or particular ethnicity that you believe it is going to fix Nigeria, you are making a big mistake. Your decisions in 2023 is not what is going to take you from out of poverty. Your decisions towards the support of this freedom movement, it is the only thing that will actually emancipate you thoroughly. And the earlier you understand it, the better for you. And I'm going to leave it here until we meet again. Stay safe. Stay informed. Bye for now.